Okay, so we are going to look at the workflow of converting grease pencil into a mesh and create amazing models from it. Let's get right into it. So the first thing that we are going to do is go into the preferences and select the add-on B surface. This B surface add-on. This add-on is used for creating a low poly mesh from high poly mesh. But this gives a whole lot of new applications with grease pencil and helps us deriving new models with just drawing through grease pencil. And after that you can see it in the edit section you will have few of these options. But first because we are using grease pencil, let's go through the basics of grease pencil. So I'll add a add, go to add, add grease pencil and then going into draw mode. You can see that I have an option to draw all over the 3D space. But when I'm drawing from top, you can see that it is coming into the XY plane. So whenever we are drawing somewhere, it is going into the plane according to our view. It is also going into the 3D space, but the drawing is going into the plane. And here we have options to even go into the edit mode and edit these strokes or draw anything else, anything you can draw with this. And one other thing that is important is going into origin. Instead of origin, we want to go into strokes and use first point. This, this helps in putting up, uh, putting the new strokes from any particular surface or any particular previous stroke like this. So instead of going into some other plane somewhere else, it is going to start from the point, uh, from the surface or from the previous stroke. So these are, this is some some things about grease pencil before starting. Now going into the B surface add-on. Uh, here we have an option to initialize. If you don't have a mesh right now, you can go and initialize. It will create a mesh for you. And then we also have option to use, uh, use annotations, curves, grease pencil, all these things to create mesh. Now I'll go and add a grease pencil. Go into draw mode. And now you can see how amazing it is. I'll draw something like this. And let's say I want a mesh in this between these two curves or some surface like with this dimension. So I'll go and initialize because I don't have a mesh right now. I'll go initialize the surface and go into grease pencil and select the grease pencil with which I was drawing. So now I'll add surface and you'll see that I have a mesh here. And you can play around with the number of crosses, number of follows. Let's say you want to have a high poly mesh with exact exact details of what you drew with grease pencil. So that is also possible here. We also have option to create some cylinder kind of things. So if we if we go into, if I go into draw mode, draw this cylinder kind of thing. Select 3D cursor here. Go to top mode and put the 3D cursor somewhere around here. Maybe. Right. And if I draw again, I'll have a circle here. Okay, so I have these two circles, and with with add surface. Okay, I have to specify the name of the grease pencil which I am going to use. So, this is the grease pencil that I want. And if I add surface, okay, initialize. Add surface, yes. So, here we have mesh that is, that is converted from two curves. And this is also really amazing. You can create anything with this. You can use it in aircraft, you can use it in making cars, engines, anything. So I delete everything now and we can try creating a particular aeroplane kind of thing maybe so that we understand the workflow of how it is going to go around, go about. So I just added, I go into the grease pencil, go into draw mode and here I create a new and give a base color of something like green color so that we have a we have some layout on which we are going to actually drop the mesh. So 
over here for visibility and I'll also add mirror modifier here for better visualization so here as you can see that I can draw anything here car, plane and right now we are looking into the top view of our model so any changes, anything that you want to draw it can be done so right now it is looking very weird but I think it is going to come around later so I will go into the side view here side view. and maybe draw some height of how much I have worn what I want here maybe at this yes I go right Is nothing good. So as you can see, we already have a, a model that we want to that we want that we visualize, and now all we have to do is create a mesh out of it. So for this, I'll go add another grease pencil and maybe name this anything. For mesh. So. I am going to use this grease pencil for creating mesh here. So I will go into draw mode and give the strokes color of yellow maybe anything so that we can differentiate between the two strokes that is the reference, our reference and our stroke. So I go here and again selecting uh, stroke and then first one. This will help us in creating a mesh, uh, creating a stroke from this point of our reference. So as you can see, I have created this. Now I'm going into back side again, creating something like this. Yep. Looking good, looking good. Nice, right? What all we have to remember here is that whenever we are drawing a stroke and we want it to be used for creating mesh, it always should be in the same direction. That is, if I am drawing from top to bottom, then all the other strokes should also be from top to bottom so that we can create a mesh. So I will go into object mode, go into edit because I don't have a mesh right now, initialize and go to grease pencil and select for mesh here. Right. So, so now if I add surface, as you can see, it is amazing that any shape that I want, any kind of shape that I want, I can create here, draw some curves and uh, draw some grease pencil and I have it here. And I can also increase the follow, the curve, crosses, etc. So we already have a Great looking fuselage here. And now we can you know, go on and start creating, creating the wings here. So I go into draw object mode, select green pencil, go into draw mode, and maybe create some wings kind of view. Less weird looking than the weapon that we are using right now. So I go into object mode. Select the mesh, okay. Select the mesh right now, which we have right now. Go into edit mode and maybe select some points here. So now all you need to do is again add surface, and as you can see, it extruded from these points and created a mesh out of it in the direction that we wanted. So as you can see, it made it is so easy now to create any structure, anything out of this. So I go and go on and create the next next thing that I want here. Maybe a bit bigger than the previous one. Yes. So now going into object mode, selecting selecting the mesh and going into edit mode and selecting the points from which I want to exclude this yes this, this is enough and then add wow 
look at this look at this way amazing right so again we have infinite options that to, for which we can use this create anything out of it and all all you need to remember here is that whenever you are drawing from left to right then all the strokes should be to left to right if you are drawing circles then if one is clockwise then all of them should be clockwise and top to bottom all should be top to bottom etc so this will help in creating correct kind of image i'll go on and create uh, give it a modifier of mirror modifier add a mirror modifier here So we are looking at the workflow of F35, which I made with the same process, same workflow. And as you can see, it is super amazing, and it's the same which we saw earlier. That first, you have to create a layout of what you want to make. Once you have the layout ready, you can start using another grease pencil for creating the mesh. Always remember to make the strokes in the same direction. or same clockwise or anti clockwise and as you can see it is so easy to put down thoughts and it is so easier to just create anything out of just drawing and it's always been very difficult to draw on draw or show 3d stuff on paper and pen but now with grease pencil you have the ability to draw like as if it's a plane or you are drawing in it on the pencil and paper and also you have the ability to make it into 3d so this is a most amazing thing grease pencil you can create anything from it at last i would like to say don't forget to like and subscribe because more videos are on the way and also check out my instagram i'm posting every day and you'll love the content